What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you some of the standard sort of bodybuilding meals that I prep each week. Um, I tend to cycle through a few different meals to keep it interesting each week um, and I'm going to show you two of my favourite ones today which is meatballs in a nice tomato sauce and chicken fajita. Both are super simple to make, um, time efficient and also cheap. Uh, that's why I like them. Um, I do like to cook fancier things sometimes, but when you're trying to get for a lot of food and cook a lot of food, so I cook for myself and Amy, um, you just end up cooking all the time if you do stuff too fancy and it takes forever. So here's two real simple meals you can do that are really tasty and won't break the bank. So firstly, we'll start with the meatballs. Um, so for this recipe, I have got 1.5 kilos of beef. Um, I've got these meatball and tomato sauce sachet packets of seasoning. So you could season the, um, the you know the meatballs yourself. Um, a lot of people will do that, have all the spices and stuff to put in them. But for simple time efficiency, I like to use these spice packets. They're what 50p each, so two pound um, in to get like eight mils worth of meatballs. Uh, definitely worth it. Having to buy all these individual types of seasoning separately, I just I can't be asked. I, I season some things myself, but it is often so much easier and cheaper to actually buy the pre-made season packets. And yeah, sometimes they're a bit high in salt, right? So like, per 30 grams of this, there's a lot of salt. But then when you're breaking it down across all the meals, it's actually really not that bad, uh, especially when you consider how bad and sugary pre-made sauces are. A little bit of this is nothing. So yeah, seasoning pack, beef, some onions, I normally go for two or three large ones. If I'm doing 1.5 kilos of beef, um, you generally want a good amount of onions and peppers as well. So we'll do two or three peppers diced up in there. Um, so I'm gonna chop these up and then get showing you how to make the meatballs. So the first thing you wanna go do is cut up your onions and peppers fairly finely and place them in a frying pan like so, get them all ready. So for 1.5 kilos of chicken, I have done two large onions and two um, medium sized peppers for this. Uh, could probably do a little bit more pepper in there, but it's down to preference. So that's step one, get that out of the way. Then chuck your beef mince into a bowl, um, a mixing bowl of any kind, and then you're gonna want two seasoning sachets or around 60 grams of seasoning for the meat alone. This is almost the exact right amount to get a really nice flavor without it being too overpowering. Um, so if you didn't see already, there's a Swartz uh, meatballs, Spanish meatballs. If you can't find these exact ones, there's gonna be in any sort of store, you're gonna be able to find some sort of pre-made meatball seasoning. Alternatively, if you can't, beef mint seasoning will work as well. It's gonna make the meatballs nicer. Um, even just the beef stock cube in there is gonna you know, help out as well. So you can try out different things, but I just prefer for this specific recipe, Spanish style, it's easy to get the sachets. Uh, so we'll put two in here. Okay, and then we're gonna mix this in evenly uh, just with our hands. So just give it a good mix in until all of that dry seasoning has been properly uh, distributed around the meat. So once your meat is all seasoned, there's two different ways you can cook it. I'm gonna show you both. Uh, you can either pan and fry them, uh, the meatballs, or you can air fry them. Now, if you don't have an air fryer, these things are awesome. Um, it's sat over in this corner for me. Uh, it's basically a mini fan oven. That's essentially kind of what it is. But it allows you to cook things using the air. You don't need to use anywhere near as much oil. Um, it cooks it way faster than a fan oven. And it actually gives you that kind of deep frying effect you get from frying it in oil without using any or using very minimal amounts. So it's a great way to cut down on saturated fats. So we've got our one cow spray here. So we're gonna put a few sprays in the bottom of our pan, okay? And then we're gonna put a few sprays in the bottom of our air fryer as well. I use this thing all the time. It's, if you don't own one, it makes meal prep so much faster. Uh, and we're gonna use it for the next recipe too. Um, it's only 80 pound on Amazon, I believe. Really not expensive and it's really good. So all you do to make the meatballs, very simply, Grab a bit of meat, and uh, you don't want to make these too big or they won't cook, they'll burn on the outside and won't be cooked through properly to the middle. Um, so I generally roll it around your hand, squeeze it a little bit. A meatball sort of that size is probably the biggest you're going to want, right? So probably even almost a little bit too big, but we're going to stick with that one in here. So one in the pan and one in the air fryer. Um, and I'll show you the difference when they're cooked. Uh, the air fryer definitely 
cooks them a lot more evenly than a pan um, and it just doesn't take as long either, it's much quicker to cook, you don't get any burning and you don't have to worry about turning the meatballs constantly, it cooks them all over. So we're going to fill this pan up with meatballs, we're going to fill the air fryer up with meatballs um, and I'll show you what temperatures to cook them on. Okay, so now our meatballs are all made, what you're going to want to do is, um, if you're using a pan, turn the pan on, uh, up nice and high, and also you want to turn on your vegetables now as well and get them starting to cook through. Um, if you're using an air fryer, um, put the meatballs in it like this, make sure they're not stacked up or anything, they need to be exposed, and then put it in, and we're going to go for 200 degrees for six minutes and then we're going to flip them and then do another six minutes at 200 degrees and they're going to come out nicely um, the pans are going to take a little while to heat up um, but once this is all started cooking I'll come right back so a quick comparison six minutes in the air fryer versus six minutes in a pan unevenly cooked perfectly evenly cooked all around so I've got to flip these now and give an extra couple of minutes but this is going to be done way before the pan fried one so it's just a much faster and better way to cook a lot of different foods. If you haven't got one already, they're cheap. We've got a Pro Breeze one. Um, have a look online. They all seem to be pretty good. Okay, for the next step, you want to put all the meatballs together in a pan. So if you cook them all in a pan, keep them in there. If you cook them in the air fryer, transfer them to a pan. Then we want to add in three tins of chopped tomatoes, uh, 400 grams each, so 1.2 kilos of chopped tomatoes. Then you're going to want to add in your onions and peppers that you've sautéed and softened already in a pan. Add those in. And then finally we add in our last two uh, seasoning packets and whack the heat back on. And then just stir it all in together, make sure it's nice and mixed. And then once it's all mixed in, you can bring this to a simmer, turn it down a little bit maybe, and just leave it, so this is obviously too high right now, so I need to turn the temperature down. But then simply leave it to simmer for about 15, 20 minutes at least, to let the water's reduced down from it. Okay, so while our meatballs are simmering away for the next 20 minutes, we can get started on our next recipe. Fajita chicken, super simple to do. Um, I'm gonna be using some meat scissors to uh, cut it. Um, I've got sick of using knives lately. The amount of washing up we have to do with all different chopping boards. Um, and we used to use scissors occasionally to cut meat. And I was like, this is quite a time efficient. So I bought a proper pair of meat scissors. I didn't even know they were a real thing, but this has got like a fish blade and everything on it. Um, and really effective way of cutting stuff up. Don't need to get any chopping boards out. Literally just, oh, especially if you're not very good with a knife, um, so you see all these gristly bits, just chop that off, chop that off, and then we can just cut it into nice long strips of chicken. So it's a really easy way to cut, make yourself like goujons or just cut out chunks of chicken. So I'm just cutting out like long strips here to make the fajita chicken, but you could do it in chunks as well. So you could easily cut off cubes if you prefer it like that. Um, I personally prefer the goujon shape ones, or as much as I can. Um, but yeah, they destroy the chicken breast in a couple of seconds there without really needing to get anything out. You can cut it up straight out of the pack, and that's what I do. Saves washing up, saves time. Um, with your meal preps, always try and think of ways to save time. As long as it doesn't ruin the recipe, um, that's what you should do. So I'm just going to cut all of this chicken up into strips and then season and cook. Okay, so I've got all the chicken cut up. Pretty quick and simple with the scissors like I just showed you. Uh, then all you want to gonna do is get a seasoning for this specific one, fajita um, seasoning, really easy to come across everywhere. But you could use barbecue seasoning, you could use, you know, different herbs and spices, um, Chinese five spice, whatever. So you can kind of pick and choose how clean you want to make it. Um, but cooking it in the air fryer really makes it come out just really nice, no matter what seasoning you put on it. So we're going to put on, so we've got 1.5 kilos of chicken. We're probably going to use all 40 grams or so of this seasoning um, to make sure it's like really nice. You can use less, obviously. It depends how strong a flavour you want and it depends on what seasoning you're using. Um, Amy and I like our fajita seasoned chicken quite strong as we eat a lot of chicken, it, it's quite plain. So, you know, we like some strong seasoning in our meats. We don't 
really like eating just plain chicken it's kind of just dull um, so you mix this all in make sure it's all evenly coated um, before you decide to put it in the air fryer or you can pan fry this as well um, so let's just keep tossing it around in here so now what you want to do is grab a bunch of it and put it in the air fryer making a thin layer at the bottom all right so close up of the chicken so you can season it with whatever you want chuck it in your air fryer preferably um, now you want to probably spray a little bit of oil on the outside of your chicken so this is just going to help it crisp up nicely like so chuck it in again, probably 200 degrees and again i'm going to do six minutes and i'm just going to flip it halfway so the meatballs, I did six minutes flipped, then four minutes in the air fryer. Um, generally you can do it by eye, depending on how big a size stuff you've cooked. 200 degrees is a good temperature to cook most smaller sort of things at. So because I'm cutting, cooking cut bits of chicken, rather than entire chicken breast, I can heat it up at a high temperature. And as you saw in the air fryer, we only covered the base of it. We could have put all this extra meat in here but it won't cook because the heat's not going to get through it so you kind of just have to put it as a thin layer as you would in a pan um, and then flip it halfway and so on but it still cooks really evenly and much faster than in said frying pan so and here is the air fried chicken versus pan fried so you can see that color difference it's got a nice crispness to it that just in the pan it just hasn't got even with the up max heat um, and it does it at a far quicker speed too. So um, air fryer, great investment. Um, so some serving suggestions for these. So the meatballs, I like to have them either with some whole grain pasta or I will just have it with a side of green veg. Um, alternatively, you could use some courgette spaghetti, carrot spaghetti, something like that if you're trying to do lower carb. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's loads of things you can have meatballs with. For the heaters, there's even more things you can have it with. So I'll often just eat it on its own with a side of vegetables, or you could have it with some rice. You could have it in a fajita wrap with some salsa um, and other bits, you know. So just use your imagination. Um, and meal prepping doesn't have to be that complicated. It is still time consuming, but you know, in an hour-ish here, I've managed to cook up three days worth of food for two people. Anyway, that concludes the cooking portion of the video for now. Uh, sorry, it's a bit of a spur of the moment deciding to cook on camera, so I need to figure out how to get better lighting in this kitchen. It's quite small. But if you want more, let me know and I will do more cooking stuff. Uh, I've got tons of recipes and that. It's just the beginning. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Before you leave, um, I'm going to be doing a supplement giveaway because I've got all these tubs of stuff that I just haven't used. And apologies, I'm going to clean up all this shit in the background soon because um, I'm going to be recording more in this office. So what we got is some pre-workouts from huge supplements. Um, if you look them up online, they're a good brand. So we've got this pump serum, which is a stimulant free pre. So it's quite good for people who don't want to have that caffeine or sort of stimulant crash after training, um, but just want to get the pump. Because like most supplements now don't come without caffeine, especially pre-workouts. Then we've got a different pre-workout. We've got some um, PTT testosterone boosting supplement. We have a thermogenic fat burning supplement. Uh, and we've got a sleep supplement, right? So I don't need any of these. I figured I'd give them away. So to, uh, to have a chance of winning these or whatever, um, all you gotta do is join my group chat. Uh, it's on Telegram, you can join it. Just Telegram me on at Hawks. Give me a message, I'll add you into the group chat. Um, and then over the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna do at least one raffle a week uh, where I'll give one of these away. Um, they're all RRP of like 40 to 70 pounds. So they're like, you know, pretty expensive and I'll post it, I'll cover the postage cost and everything. Even if you're in America, that's cool. I figured they've been sitting in my cupboard for six months. I might as well let someone else have a good use of them. So yeah. Join my Telegram, I hope you liked this cooking video, and there's much more stuff to come. I'm just trying to sort out our house still, like this office is a fucking tip. We need to get shit on the walls, I want to get some fun stuff in the background. I need to put my YouTube thing back up, there's like, we've been, we've lived in this house only four months now, but we just haven't got around to sorting everything, so uh, office is next on the agenda, but we've had so much wedding shit to plan, it's not got there yet. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, join my Telegram, and I'll catch you next time.